Andre Sarai. We're today, we are jumping into Spartacus, season one, episode two. So the first episode was really good. To tell you the truth, I was really expecting something more like 300. This is like 300 where it gave you that slow pace when they're about to kill, etc, etc, etc. But it was still very different in its own little thing. But I'm not gonna lie, I enjoyed it. But it did take me probably like five or ten minutes to be really deep in love with the show for what I got from this first episode. So, um, I'm really excited. I don't know the characters' names. I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> All I know is our main character, you guys let me know that he passed away in real life. Anytime I watch something where somebody actually passed away in real life, I always get like creeped out and also really sad. This actor I ended up Googling and seeing that he uh, had a cancer and uh, he died in like a very, very long time ago. Um, I don't know, maybe not that long ago, but he died, he passed away and he had, I think two kids. So it's really sad to see that this actor actually passed and obviously he had, I believe he had cancer during the time or he wasn't diagnosed yet because that's why he didn't return for season two, allegedly, and that's what I read, that he was diagnosed with cancer and he had to go do medical treatment. And I, I believe from what I read, it didn't really take long for him to sadly pass away from this cancer. I think it was very aggressive, whatever the cancer was, I can't remember. But once again, it's very sad. And I hope, I hope one day that we can honestly get this cancer, uh, uh, whatever we can to get uh, patients who have cancer to be able to live their whole entire life and fight back cancer because cancer is the worst and I hope like you know uh, I think that my Nana had cancer I think my Nana had cancer I could be wrong um but I think I think people in my family did overall overall though it's very sad and the actor in the first episode was giving me life, liberty, and justice. And as we move forward going on in this uh, show, I'm sure he's going to continue giving me that. The men in the show um, are okay. You know, there is a lot of nudity. I have seen more butts in one day than I do in my normal life. So there is that. Shout out to uh, Spartacus. How you doing? Um, but I really do enjoy the show. And I'm really happy that you guys are excited that I'm getting into this show because I'm excited that you're excited that we're all excited with that being said guys let's jump into this reaction of Spartacus and find out exactly what these warriors have got to give oh hey sir you got caught and stuff oh you destroyed everybody in that damn arena oops oh that's his wife Sora hey Sora how the hell are you here I thought I'd never see you. I will always be with you. Really? Girl, I where are you? Off a drink. Oh, is she free? Is this a dream? Ah! Ooh, that was a crazy dream, sir. Thank God you're awake. Oh my God, this is how they're sleeping? The first attempt to all that fucking hair. Ah! What hair? He's gonna cut his hair? Oh my God. Ah! God, you guys gonna get a scissor? Probably didn't have that. <laughs> this is his words. Hey ladies, how are you doing? This is Zena. Oh my God, you guys let me know. Thank you. His cost was enough for us to fill the pool for a month. You paid beyond the asking. Ah. Uh, how long before he takes his place in the grave, dragging your investment with him? Well, that is Zena. He comes here. <sighs> Two days hence. Spartacus defied Glabber's attempt at assassination in the arena. He did. Embarrassment for the Legatus. Gatus. Spartacus survives to swear the oath. The arena will be his tomb as first intended. Okay. Desires well matched. He's naked in front of all of them? There's yet more stroking needed. What's happening? <laughs> With wine and water, lots of water. Oh my God. That's my nervous laugh. <laughs> Is this real life? Child, I can't. One of his warriors. What are they? Oh my God. That was his whole body. Lord, I can't believe I'm seeing this. The Spartacus everyone's been pissing about. 
My name. No one gives shit. Oops. You are now an honored guest of Batiatus. Batiatus. A school of training where men are forged into gods. Oh my god. The arena, their mountaintop. I don't even know how I'm gonna edit this. <laughs> you and the other recruits will count yourself among us. Uh huh. <laughs> Can we fetch you something? Food? Water. <laughs> they were joking, sir. They're naked, walking around. Smells like fresh shit. Except for their women. Ooh. Piss. And shit. Uh, who is he? Crixus, the undefeated. A gall. What's a gall? That explains why you smell like a woman. <laughs> this. <laughs> when you gain your strength, we'll revisit that remark. Okay, put some clothes on. So I don't even need to worry about what he looks like nude because I've seen it for like five minutes. Now what are they doing? Not to cock among them. Well then you should join them, you little cunt. Uh, uh, who is this man? He looks like a uh, seal. What? Hi. It's beneath your feet. Sand. Sand. <laughs> Sacred ground, Doctore. Oh. Your blood, your pathetic lives forged into something of worth. Oh. Now attend your master. Find yourselves here. At the ludus of Quintus Lentulus Batiatus. What? Prove yourselves more than a common slave, more than a man. Okay. Stand proud among my titans. Fire! Fire! Gladiator does not fear death. Ooh. Each time he enters the arena, prays to thrust home before the jaws snap shut. <laughs> this sad. Battered Thracian stood against four in the arena. He did. They came at him. Woo! Again and again. So we're rooting for the Thracians, right, guys? He defied death, fate, the gods themselves. Red Serpent. <laughs> That's the funniest face. Study him and realize he is nothing. Hmm. <laughs> Spartacus entered the arena with any gladiator here. His head would have left well in advance of his body. He's pushing him. A demonstration, perhaps. Ooh! Prove us wrong, Spartacus. No, give him a real sword. That guy's annoying. <laughs> Spartacus! Oh! That is not my name. Oh! Your name. Your life. Is what we decide. Ooh, Spartacus, kill him. A coward requires advantage to still his trembling knees. Ooh. Oh, yes! I told you he wanted a real sword! <laughs> I can do nothing with this one. Send him to the mines. Oh! Oh, get up, Spartacus! You're better than this! He attempts to press before regaining balance. Spartacus! Oh, Lord. Allow advantage to your back, and you are dead. Get him, Spartacus! Hit him in the head! Headbutter! Spartacus, this isn't like you! Dead. Hurl your sword in the arena, and you are dead again. Oh, uh, Spartacus, I don't know what you were doing, sir. Two fingers, a sign of surrender. Beg for your life, little rabbit. Not a rabbit. Bash his skull in. Rexus! Bash his skull in. <laughs> he tries to kill your best man, and yet you let him live. Never visits tomorrow. Uh, she likes him. Well, he's not that well endowed, girl. <laughs> His bad fighting at that moment, because he's tired. Uh. Let's do this all night heat. Oh, damn. Well, you got messed up. Being slaves and criminals, a lot of them. Are we the better? You survived your own execution. Facts. Or of a different situation. 
above this unfortunate collection. Uh, Varro. Hi, Varro. The worst of the lot. But that's his tribe. A family. Wife and child. Oh. Fight well and you are rewarded with coin. Enough even to balance what I owe the gods be fortunate. So what's he eating? Are there no better offerings? Better, yes. Within reach of my purse, no. But the Atlas. These men are all the straw forded. Crumble them to the mines. Your will, my hands. Your will, my hands. I like that sign. Three months of grain. The payment standing past you. Oh, wow. Principal plus 30%. 30. Yet, as it stands. Mm -mm. The day after. <laughs> you broke. Unemployment line. Prixis? Ship would be running down your leg. Uh, Gore would have bested any of us, Kurza. I pray not to face Crixus in the final test. They're so nice to each other. <laughs> Win the hearts of the crowd in the arena and you'll be blessed with both. I was gonna die. What do you think of our chances? You're all dead. <laughs> He's You're not gonna answer. <laughs> That's what I said. You will sleep when you prove yourselves men. God, I gotta go back and forth with this stupid log? Ah, keep pace! Sheesh. Return to your dreams. In a minute. We need better wine. We need many things. Mm. Cannot fall short tomorrow. If I can secure Glabber's patronage. You will. Who's Glabberage again? Come to bed. Bring that awful wine. <laughs> go to bed, sir, and bring that awful wine. <laughs> So we're, I'm gonna find out who Glaberish or whatever his name is. Oh my god, they're still going on. I'm like, screw short. this. Oh. Still believe every man will live to see the test. Mostly. Yet the fool then. Uh, I recall the hardship of the march when I was a recruit. Uh, Fill your valleys. He is annoying. Wake me when it's time to die again. What was the point of that? He's an ambition at this time. It has an unpleasant bite. Ugh. You would give me your bread? Mine. No. <laughs> Whatever you need, Asher provides. Asher. And I ask nothing in return. The concern is your strength and what being in the coming day. Huh. In addition to other services, I offer odds. As how slow on what day or hour. Games. Oh. Quick stands to lose a sum if you define the numbering. I would see it so. Oh! Do not think me friend. Thought is well removed. What's wrong with this man? Oh, he actually fell asleep? How did you manage this? Uh oh. Oh my god, he can't even eat a loaf of bread that's not even a whole pride or potato bread? Damn it, let him live! Who is this person? Oh shit. Oh god, this man. Oh. <laughs> Wherever I please! Oh my god. She's such no grievance. You have grieved me. By stirring the auxiliary into desertion call. Oh god. And then, in the arena, you grieve me again by not knowing when to die! <laughs> so your life is no longer yours to bargain. Then tongue the words in his ear. Ah. Oh. I once sought death in repayment for your slights. Huh? No, my desires have turned to blood. Oh, God. And you will yet die under it, sliver by sliver. God! A part in kindness. Oh. Observe the scent. For my men stained it with their own. Oh. I sold her to an unpleasant Syrian for half a coin. See, the Thracian finally learned his place before me. Ah. Oh. On his knees. He's such an annoying person. The man is of no more concern to me. No, none whatsoever. Oops. Common dishes leave my stomach unsettled. <laughs> Sestian? No, but something of equal taste. Water, then. Oh, she's annoying. Gods yet ignore us. Perhaps we've done something to offend them. She looked at that food and was like, ugh. <laughs> I'd stand a bit away. Jupiter could hurl a bolt at any moment. She's annoying. In the presence of a proper room. For is a word forged by men who would seek to enslave us. With Oops. Now she's going to be looking at the boys. Have you ever been inside a Ludus? As a Ludus? Father would never allow it. And you obey his commands. Yes. Something out of a fever dream. 
Isn't it a worry? Is this a worry? What about your children? Do you let them play with them? I don't have children, girl. I'm without children. I just saw a woman of your age. Hmm. Oops. Slapper, Zena. We leave for Rome. Well, can't we stay a while? I want to watch the gladiators. <laughs> Zena wants to go. <laughs> oh God, Seal and uh, Spartacus. Pair with Spartacus. Yes, Doctor. Yes, Doctor. <laughs> oh, he looks nervous. <laughs> Spartacus, get it together, sir! Even his turn is annoying. He's gonna be annoying. Oops! Spartacus, he didn't do anything! Oh, God! Oh, my God! So you got effed up. <laughs> Well, the gods haven't pissed on me enough for one day. <laughs> I warned you of their quality. You warned me nothing. My hands, your will. Relax, you're broke. He's an animal, best unleashed in the mines. No. Spartacus is more highly valued. God. Boom to the crowds if we can but divine the instrument of his taming. He talks too much. He struggled to retain this bit of fabric. It may bring you some service. Oh, his wife's whatever. I'll press the discovery. Spartacus, you're not doing good in episode two, sir. Under my hospitality, do you know why? Because I trusted in the honor of a Roman. Uh. He believed that no man was without worth. My father, who in turn passed them on to me. Okay. I see things in men that they themselves have lost. Cute story. <laughs> I burn for no cause but my own. And what might that be? Money? No. Position then, power, love. Love, love. In the eye, tensing of the jaw. What might be the name of this delicate flower? Sora. Well then, how do you know she still lives? How do you know the heart beats beneath your chest? You feel it. You are the most dangerous of animals. He is. What would you do to hold your wife again? To feel the warmth of her skin? Everything. Whoever stood between us. How many men? A hundred? I would kill them all. Then do oh. it in the arena. Yes! Why? Would I place my fate in the hands of another Rome? You don't have a choice. Your wife's? Call me, Dominus, and I will help to reunite you. He's lying. He's gonna say thank you? Thank you, Dominus. What's her name? Ooh! I like this guy. Oh, Spartacus looks angry! Pharaoh has stood to a draw. The test is passed. Good job, Pharaoh. Marker! Marcus! Positions! Oh god, Marcus is gonna die. Ah! Damn. Texas! Spartacus! Spartacus, I hope you kill this guy. He's annoying. They're all annoying, but he's not gonna kill him. He's gonna be in a drawer because that's his best man. Think of your wife, Spartacus. <laughs> the rabbit is fixed to piss himself. <laughs> uh, I hope he kills him. Woo! Kill the rabbit. Why do you know that guy? Oh my God, Spartacus. Oh, he fell! The lesson is well learned. Spartacus! You have passed the test! Uh. Thank you, old man, up top of the roof thing. Your life now promises meaning. Swear it to me. It's like the Sacramentum Gladiatorum. Oh. Uh. My mind. My oh, she's angry. Beaten. Or die by the sword. Oh! He couldn't just say all that and that'd be enough? You gotta mark him? Okay! Yes, bitch! Well 
Well, well. So that was a really good episode, guys. I really did enjoy it. Um, so this was just getting more in depth about Spartacus and once again seeing his arch nemesis. Forgot his name. You know what's really crazy? This show, I'm going to tell you 100%. You guys could comment down below and keep trying to remind me, but I'm not going to know anybody's name. I know Xena by Xena. And then I know Spartacus because they say it so many times. And the rest of them, I don't know. I don't really remember. And Vortex or whatever his name is. I call the other guy Cervix. Like, I don't know what these people's names are, but you get the point. Um, Spartacus, though, he, I, I'm hoping as we moving on, he's going to keep thinking about his wife wherever thou shall be. And he just gets a little bit better with the fighting. I think he should use his anger towards him winning in the arena. I don't think that even if he wins an arena, that is going to matter. This guy really just wants to get money. He wants to get fame. And he's going to use Spartacus to do that. Um, and he's broke as a joke. So he needs Spartacus to actually win win in the arena because all that coins that was, was mentioned is going to go right to... Um, but the bada bada ba, whatever his name is. But I can't say it. Um, but overall, I really did enjoy this episode. It was really, really good. So that's all I gotta say, folks. With that being said, guys, have you seen this reaction? You realize you are not subscribed? Hit the subscribe button. It's either here, 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 over here. So please like and share this content because it does wonders for this channel. And I'll see you all next time on Andres El Rey.